And Brandy, Diane Nelson seen in the white t-shirt here next to me. Her family says her ICU room actually neighbors the woman who hit her. They say they're not angry, but still seeing Diane in such pain isn't easy. Diane Nelson may be happiest snuggled up with her grandsons, twin boys. But lately, Diane's family says she doesn't stay in one place for long. Over the last, uh, you know, couple years, she's been making some real life changes to try and improve her health and, and improve it, you know, for the grandkids. Changes that her son Jeremy Katzenstein says included daily trips to the YMCA. In fact, she was headed home from the Y Tuesday when a head on crash stopped her and seemed to stop time for her family. This morning when I got got in and actually seeing her, was, uh, you know, she's a She's got a road ahead of her. Jeremy says he booked the first flight out of Norfolk, Virginia. He's active duty Navy, and he says he walked into the hospital and saw his mom's broken legs and 20 cracked ribs. She's got to do uh, at least one more round of surgery where they got to take the, the rods out and they're going to put plates in, in both legs. But her family says Diane is tough. She actually remembers the whole crash. She knew everything, everything that happened. She was coherent throughout the whole thing up until they had to put her under for surgery. Her niece, Tommy Fitzsimmons, has been by Diane's side since the wreck. And while Diane is clearly hurt, they say they're not sore with the other driver. Honestly, we all make mistakes. She's in as bad a shape as, uh, as my mom. Uh, if not worse. In the past 24 hours, Diane has made remarkable progress, sitting up, even talking. But still, they say she's got a long ways to go. She's got a road ahead of her, and uh, she's an active person, and she's not going to be mobile, and that's going to be tough. Now, Council Bluffs Police say charges are still pending against that other driver who is also in critical condition. Diane has more surgery ahead than rehab and, of course, mounting medical costs. So if you'd like to help, her family says they would be grateful. Just go to KETV.com. We provided a link. Guys, back to you. All right, Christina, thanks.